Hi, welcome to the New York State Skinny, brought to you by the New York State Association of Realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. It's election season, so it's only natural to feel overwhelmed by advertising, speeches, and media buzz. Let's see if we can turn one of the signature electoral traditions, the moderated debate, into a useful housing dialogue. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, please welcome Mr. Seller. And on the left, we have Ms. Beyer. Candidates, please state briefly why you feel the market favors your side. Buyer activity was up 12.7% to 8,227 pending sales. Buyers have shown strong turnout all year, and that's helped ease some seller anxiety. I agree that sales have been strong, and that's good for sellers. But mortgage rates continue to post new record lows, and prices have come down anywhere from 5 to 20%, depending on the area. Buyers definitely have the upper hand. Moving on. Oh, and one more thing. Rents are on the rise. Okay, thank you, candidates. And now, let's talk about inventory. Ms. Beyer, you start this round. Well, this has been a dominant pattern for most of the recovery campaign. Some buyers wish they were still an oversupply of bargain homes to choose from. But that's quickly changing. Inventory levels were down 20.5% to 92,388 active listings. That's one thing my opponent and I can agree on. And it's the lowest September inventory reading since 2005. It's also the 20th consecutive month of declines. This means less competition for sellers, which typically translates into multiple offers for well-presented homes and higher prices. Candidates, that provides a good segue to prices. Mr. Seller, please go ahead. My party has been hesitant to list because of what's unfolded over the past half decade, but the pendulum is shifting. The median sales price was up 7.1% from last year to an even $225,000. This marks the fourth consecutive year-over-year gain and the highest September median sales price since 2008. I think buyers recognize that and feel a sense of urgency as a result. There are still bargains to be had, but prices have firmed up nicely in 2012 in response to other improvements. We will conclude with absorption rates. Ms. Beyer, please begin. Absorption rates were down a significant 29.3% to 11.1 months. Now that's a far cry from the 16th month supply we had last year, but this number is still technically leaning towards the buyers. That said, this measure is being driven back towards balance by dwindling supply and strong demand. Sellers are also seeing multiple offers on well-presented listings. This means they should yield a greater percentage of list prices. And with that, we'll conclude the debate. Remember that mortgage rates are near record lows, the economy is slowly on the mend, prices are on the rise, and the market is returning to a healthy balance. On behalf of the New York State Association of Realtors, good night and good luck.